Hello folks, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm the one, but only, only Hobo Tom. Tom. And I'm here to talk about, talk about well, fast lanes coming up. And I'll tell you what, I really do like the fact that it's not back to back to back pay per views from all the wrestling companies, but AEW's figured out, hey, we'll do it this day. WWE's like, yeah. We'll wait a week, get that done. Um, I don't know. Other wrestling companies are saying, hey, we'll have it in the middle of the month. Although I might be working. I have no idea. NASCAR just decided to change its schedule for next year. So I have no idea what's going to happen. So you know what, folks? Hit my... Oh yeah. oh yeah, don't forget the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League has its own special coming out on Halloween in the havoc of Halloween, or as I like to call it, El Dia de Macho. But first, before I do all, all that, I have some thank yous to give out. And yes, I have been, I have to do that too. When am I going to do that? I'll figure that out later. I have some time left. Yes, I have some thank yous to give out. I've been very bad about my thank yous. I figured when I watched the AEW pay-per-view, actually, that's here. How many did I get right? How many did I get wrong? Why do I never have a pen around? Oh, you need it. I don't care. There we go. That works. Let's see here. Let's see here. So I got that right. FTR1. Yep, they won. Darby Allen lost. Yeah, Darby Allen actually lost. Uh, let's see, how did I do? I got. I figured, I figured on nine. I know there were people going to say, oh, but there were 15 matches. Yeah, I didn't know about the pre show, and I didn't know about the one match they just built in. So let's see here. I got one, two. Three, four, five, point five, five. Yeah, you know what? I'll give myself six because I got the snooze match right. The Chris Jericho fiasco, you kind of napped through. That wasn't, I don't think it was that great. Maybe it was ham sandwich I think or cheeseburger stone cold hawk I got right I'll give myself a bonus point so I got six out of nine right that means I'm in the head of one Stephanie McMahon Helmsley but more so I was chatting with people Chris QI7 here, let me. Which one should I give you? Give me a second here. This is the joy of working in the Hobo Studios. Ah, sir. You always win twice because you get that six count. And AC, you know what, sir? You know that air guitar.
Now that the thank yous are out, let's get to the important part. There we go. Here we can do that. Fast lane. I think I have a graphic for this somewhere. If not, I'll find one. Um, right now, there's only five matches, which is good, which means this show is not going to be horrifically long. Because God knows. I mean, I was watching it seven till midnight. That's five hours, and as soon as I knew, as soon as Edge or Adam Copeland showed up, I'm like, I'm out of here. Yeah, so let's see. I have no idea what order this is going to be in. Uh, let's just say, well, the Judgment Day versus Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to say the Judgment Day win. Only because it doesn't make sense. I don't know. It doesn't really makes sense for Cody to be a tag team champion when he's going to go after Roman Reigns. There's going to be shenanigans, though. Judgment Day is going to win. Jey Uso will probably eat the pen. Um, the Latin World Order. The L W O. So there are four Latinos. Life. Uh, they're going to take on what I call the Hurt Prophets. That's uh, the LWO. It's going to be Rey Mysterio, Hijo del Fantasma. I mean Santos Escobar. I'll say Raul Mendoza, whoever, whatever his name is, or it could be DJ Z, one of those two. They might pull. Oh, that'd be so cool. If they pull the killer B move and switch it in and out, that would be cool. They almost could do that. They took on what I call the Hurt Prophets, and that's Bobby Lashley and the Street Prophets. Hurt Prophets are going to win. Uh, Santos Escobar might turn on Rey Mysterio today. So, yeah, that should be a fun match. Um, the match you could probably take a nap through. Is as usual the women's match. It's Io Sky versus Asuka versus Charlotte Flair. I have Asuka winning. I have no clue. I just feel that way. Charlotte Flair is our filler. Asuka can feud with Io Sky a little bit more. Asuka could, act, Asuka could actually avenge all her losses and pin Charlotte Flair too. And not have Io Sky involved whatsoever. That way Io Sky can say, hey, I never technically lost my belt. Even though she lost the belt. So yeah. Asuka wins. At least it's a short card. Then we have Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I can't see Seth dropping that belt. What I could see is Damian Priest cashing in at the end of a hard-hitting match and beating Seth Rollins. So I say Seth Rollins is going to win. With a caveat, uh, he might eventually lose his belt but to Damien Priest. Because again, he has the money in the bank. And then we have... Da, 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 da. Yeah! John Cena and... L.A. Knight! Taking on the bloodline. <laughs> you think L.A. Knight and John Cena are actually going to lose? You're ridiculous. This is my stone cold lock. Of the night. John Cena and yeah, LA Knight win. And that's really fast lane. Wow, that is all fast lane. That's weird. And this video is not too long, so I can fill it with it later tonight. So, worst comes to worst, it shows up. I don't know, tomorrow morning. Actually, it won't be that long. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'll be doing my watch along on this Saturday night. I'm going to make myself some Chicago style pizza. And I will be making also that video to be put on the Halloween special. So you guys can, well, 
throw it back into cooking in the Hobo Studio. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching.